Hello guys, today we are going to discuss about uh, the topic text mining. So let us see what is this text mining and uh, how the useful information only can be extracted uh, based upon the given user queries involved. So we will see in the today's lecture, right? See, first we will see what is this uh, text mining. In. So first uh, we have to know what is meant by structured data and what is meant by unstructured data. So, what is meant by structured data? Any data which is uh, represented in the form of rows and columns is called as the structured data. So, if you take the text mining, text uh, mining, uh, we can have uh, the data like uh, uh, structured data will be there, unstructured data will be there or uh, any data which is in the form of relational table or in the form of transactional data or uh, we can store our entire data in the data warehouses also where it is like a single repository we can store our data in the data warehouses so all these available information we are going to store it in the text databases we can call it like text databases or document databases we can call it like text databases or document databases where it will consist of the large collections of the documents from the various sources what are those various sources it can be the news articles or your research papers or your books or we can take it like digital libraries or email messages or web pages all these are the multiple sources where we can fetch the information and we can store it in the form of the text databases or document databases so all these text databases uh, these uh, it has been increasing uh, um, uh, the electronic form of the digital data it has been increasing day by day so if you take any electronic documents or your email messages or the data which is from the world wide web also it has been increasing gradually so in the form of a uh, world wide web means it it's like a uh, huge collection of data from the global places where uh, everything is interconnected but still we can retrieve the static data and as well as the dynamic data which is stored in the text databases and nowadays but all this almost all the information will be with the government organizations or from the business people but still we can store it in the form of electronic data and we can retrieve it very easily so this type of retrieving only the useful information from the multiple sources is called as text mining is called as text mining next uh, the data which is stored in most text databases are called semi-structured data will be there. We can't say that all the data will be of a structured format in that uh, neither that means semi-structured means these are neither completely unstructured and nor completely in the structured format. Such a type of data is called as semi-structured data. Then uh, for example, let's take uh, a document will contain a few structured fields like uh, title author publication date category and so on but still it will also contain some unstructured text components uh, like um, abstract or the contents we can call these abstract and contents like the unstructured text components so how we are going to deal with these unstructured data or uh, the semi-structured data where all this data will be there in our document databases so we are having Many number of information uh, retrieval techniques are there which are called as text indexing methods uh, to handle such type of unstructured documents. To handle such type of unstructured documents, we will use the text indexing methods. So, we will see what are the information retrieval techniques we are using for only the text retrieval process. Next one is uh, text data analysis and uh, information retrieval. So what is this information retrieval? Let's see what is this information retrieval. So information retrieval, it is like uh, we are developing in uh, uh, parallel with the database systems for many years. Like uh, it's not the uh, thing like a uh, database systems where uh, it has been focused on query and the transaction processing of the structured data. So if you take uh, any relational table databases or uh, transactional table databases, it will focus completely on the query related things and the transactional processing on the structured data only. But information retrieval, it is uh, 
uh, we can't say that it is completely dealing with the structured data or the relational table databases. So it is organized and uh, retrieval of the information from a large or huge number of text based documents is uh, information retrieval. So this information retrieval, it will plays a major role in uh, retrieving the relevant documents uh, that is uh, given by the users. Next, uh, since the information retrieval, it will handle uh, or uh, if you take uh, the DBMS or the database management systems, it will handle the different kinds of data. What are those different kinds of data and uh, some, what are the database system problems usually we will get with the DBMS means usually concurrency control. We know concurrency control, recovery management, transaction management and if any updations are there, we will get lot of problems in, the, in all these things. That means these are the challenges that are faced by the database management systems. But all these things which are not present in the information retrieval systems. So, what are the common information retrieval problems we are having means uh, unstructured documents, approximate search based upon the keywords uh, and the notion of relevance. We will try to find out whether the retrieval documents are relevant or not or if any unstructured documents are there, how to retrieve such type of unstructured documents and we will see how much approximation is there based upon the keywords that is given by the user these are some of the common information retrieval problems that are faced by the users while retrieving the documents from the huge set of databases next uh, due to the abundance or uh, due to having the large amount of uh, text information information retrieval has found uh, many such type of applications a few examples of information retrieval systems they have given like uh, online library catalog systems online library catalog systems like if you take uh, any digital library all the information related to news articles or newspapers or journals or magazines or the books related information, PDFs, ebooks, all these things we are going to store it in the online digital, online library catalog systems. So if you go to enter into that particular system, we can easily retrieve whatever the research papers we want, whatever the newspapers we want, whatever the books related information we want, we can fetch all the relevant information from the online library catalog systems. And online document management systems also, we can uh, store the huge amount of document related to university databases or colleges related databases. So we can fetch the relevant information whenever we need if you are, if you are going to store the documents in the huge set of databases. And uh, one more thing is more recently they have developed the web search engines also. So we know what are the web search engines which are readily available. So we are having lot of search engines are there where with the help of these search engines only nowadays we can fetch lot of information that which the user wants. So that is called as the information retrieval problem. Next one, a typical information retrieval problem is to locate the relevant documents in the document collection. So what is our main aim? We have to locate the relevant documents in the document collection based upon the user's query. So what is which is often some keywords uh, describing an information need. So that means if I want to search any information related to database or data mining, I will give few specific keywords with the help of these keywords only. I will try to pull the relevant information out from the collection or the huge set of documents. So this information access process is called as information filtering. We will call it like a new name that is called as information filtering and the corresponding systems that which we are going to use are called as filtering systems or called as filtering systems. So from the technical viewpoint, I can call it like search and filtering. I can search the data and I can filter the data based upon the uh, retrieval documents. So what are the major techniques that which we are having in the information retrieval? We will see. So we are having the basic measures are there for the text retrieval methods that is the precision and the recall. What is this precision and what is this recall? Let's see. So suppose a text retrieval system has just retrieved a number of documents based upon my input in the form of a query. I have given some query and I am trying to retrieve the relevant documents based upon my query. So how can we access 
how can we access the accurate or the correct data from the huge set of documents or the databases how can i know that uh, uh, whatever the documents that the system is displaying is correct or not so let's see so we have categorized like uh, let the set of documents relevant to, to the query can be denoted as the relevant how many number of documents which are relevant to the query are the relevant documents and the set of documents how many number of documents retrieved for a given query are called as the retrieved so the set of documents that are both relevant and retrieved is denoted as a relevant intersection retrieved so how we can show this relevant documents and the retrieved documents in the form of a venn diagram in the form of a venn diagram is see this is the set of all the relevant documents and this is the set of all the retrieval documents and this is the one of the common place where we can find out uh, the common re relevant documents and the retrieval documents this is the place of the middle place where it will show the intersection of the relevant and the retrieval documents and uh, this is the set of all the documents information so let's see what are the two basic measures for accessing the quality of the text retrieval so what is the precision means so the percentage of retrieved documents that are in fact relevant to the query that are in fact relevant to the query that means how many number of correct responses that which we are getting for the retrieved documents this is formally defined as a precision is equal to modulus of relevant intersection retrieved by retrieved so which will gives you the precision then now what is meant by recall what is meant by recall the percentage of documents that are relevant to the query and were in fact retrieved i am going to uh, focus on the retrieved documents also based upon the percentage of documents which are relevant to the query and in fact were retrieved so this is formally defined as recall is equal to relevant intersection retrieved by relevant so this is about the recall two basic measures uh, we are using for accessing the quality of the retrieval process and uh, the information retrieval again it needs some trade off uh, uh, for the precision or for the um, recall vice versa so what is the commonly used trade off is the f score what is this f score means it will gives you the harmonic mean of both the recall and the precision so f score is equal to recall into precision by recall plus precision by 2 which will give you f score value here and uh, what are the text retrieval methods that which we are having text retrieval methods retrieval methods are basically two categories are there one is the document selection problem and the other one is the document ranking problem so in the document selection problem the query is like a uh, uh, the query is like uh, specifying the constraints uh, for selecting the relevant documents so what is the typical method here for this category is a uh, boolean retrieval model boolean retrieval model see what is this boolean retrieval model we know boolean values means uh, like uh, true or false yes or no or uh, zero or one so like that we will represent uh, the two values only can be shown here that is called as the boolean retrieval model so here i can use the user can use the set of keywords a user can provide a boolean expression of keywords like a car and the repair shops that means it may show either the car or it may show the repairing shops or tea or coffee or database systems but not oracle like that i can give in some uh, different manner where we can treat like a boolean queries here where it will returns the documents which will satisfy the boolean expression so that means if you take car and the repair shops it has it will show the car information and as well as it will show the repair information also both it will show here whenever the user is asking such a type of data but uh, what is the difficulty in prescribing the user's information here we need exactly with the boolean query we should know what is the boolean query and uh, the boolean retrieval model generally it will works only when the user is having a lot of information about the document he should have the lot of information about the document and he can formulate a good query based upon this then only he can go for this boolean retrieval model otherwise simply he can go for the other categories of retrieval methods 
Next one is the doc document ranking methods. What is this document ranking methods here? So this document ranking methods is used to query all the or to rank all the documents in the order of the relevance. So for the ordinary users and for the exploratory queries, these methods are more appropriate than the document selection methods. So most modern information retrieval systems present a, a ranked list of documents in response to the user keyword queries. So whenever a user is going to post any sort of query in the search engines, it is going to show the list of documents in some ranking order only. The one which is having the highest rank will be displayed first in the web pages. So according to the matched keywords and the queries in the document. So this is called as the document ranking method. Next, uh, again, we will see what are the different types of approaches to the text mining. What are the different types of approaches to the text mining? So, the major approaches of these text mining are we are having the three types of approaches are there. One is the keyword based approach and the second one is the tagging approach and third one is the information extraction approach. So, what is this keyword based approach means? Uh, here, the input is given in the form of a keywords are terms in the documents so based upon the given set of keywords by the user it will fetch the information whereas in the tagging approach so the information will be given in the form of the tags here in the form of the tags the input will be given and the retrieval process will start based upon the input tags third one is the information extraction approach where it is going to take the semantic information such as uh, events facts or any entities which is uncovered by the information extraction so three different approaches are there in the text mining process next what is this keyword based approach few examples they have given it here how to discover the compound nouns like a database and the systems here and we are having the co-occurring patterns are there with less significance like a terrorist and the explosion Press like, uh, uh, likewise, we can give any sort of keywords here just for a uh, uh, deep understanding here and uh, tagging approach. Tagging approach, it is completely depends upon the tags uh, which is obtained by the manual tagging here, which is obtained by the manual tagging here and uh, by some automated categorization algorithm, it is going to fetch the information based upon the tags and uh, it will require uh, uh, that means it will define the different types of categories before going into this tagging approach. And see here how the text tagging which can be done manually or automatically by adding the tags or annotations to various components of the unstructured data. I can add any type of annotations or tags to my data here. So one common name of the text tagging is the name entity extraction. So, with this extraction method, the batch of unstructured data might be scanned to identify the names of people. If you want to tag any person, like uh, as if we will do in some uh, social networking sites, we can tag a person, we can tag a product, we can tag a user, we can tag an organization, locations or cities or states, anything we can tag it here. So, in the same way, we will do, we will try to identify few names, people names, products names, organizations location, cities or state information. So, such a type of uh, approach is called as the text tagging approach where we can do it manually by ourselves. Next one is the information extraction approach. Information extraction approach is more advanced one and may lead to the discovery of uh, oh, some knowledge we, we should have. That means based upon the semantic analysis of the given text, we use it to retrieve the information uh, with the help of natural language understanding techniques and the machine learning models. So this is a challenging uh, and uh, knowledge uh, discovery task here. So various uh, text mining tasks are there which can be performed on the extracted keywords tags or the semantic information. So where all these information approaches can be used for the document clustering, classification, information extraction, association analysis and trend analysis. So I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching.